Okay, we've pulled up next to the side of the road, okay? And on the other side of the road there, we can clearly see there is a corner. There's a corner up front there. There's a corner. There's a road there. We're going to do a left river. Okay. So, when we're on this side of the road, what we do is when we start, okay, what you're going to be working with, what you're going to be working with is the first thing you do when you pull up here next to the road and he says to you, I'd like you to go across the other side of the road, pull up on the junction on the other side of the road. So there it is. I'd like you to go across the other side of the road, on that corner there, pull up on the other side of the road and then you're going to reverse back. I want you to actually go, pull up over there, just up there, and then reverse back and down and into the road. That's what we want to be doing. Right, so we start by having a look here in this side mirror, right? Now, if you look carefully, just look there, there's the horizon of the side of the car. You see my finger? Yeah. My finger is tracing the horizon of the side of the car. Can you see that? Yeah. And there's the curb. There's the curb line. We can see the curb line. Yeah. Now, between the two of them, there's a gap. Mm -hmm. You're going to work with the gap between the horizon of the side of the car, the whole of the horizon image of the side of the car and the curb. Have you heard the terminology mind the gap? Yeah. Okay, you're going to use the terminology mind the gap. Right, so we are now here next to the road and we're ready to move off. Mm -hmm. First thing we do, obviously, put our foot on the brake, put the car in drive. Okay, at this stage of the game, just watch the process, okay? All right, so the car's in drive. Now what we do is we do our full all-round observation, look around, make sure it's all clear, release our handbrake, right, and we drive off. Okay, we put on our right signal and all the nice things that we do, and then signal is off. And as we come up, we get to the center line of the road. So as we get to the center line of the road, there's the center line of the road. Okay, as we get to that, we now put on our left signal, and we drive across the other side of the road and we pull up just here, just next to the curb. So we've got a nice little distance between ourselves and the curb. Now, now what happens is the handbrake comes up, the car goes into reverse gear, okay? So we're ready to reverse. Now what we're going to be doing is I'm going to now just focus on this actual process here so that you can see the process as we go around, okay? So, we're going to focus on this process of reversing the car around the corner, okay? Now I'm going to talk you through it as we go back. Car's in reverse, we observe all around, we look around, make sure it's all clear. Okay, so now hold your wheel, your wheel at the moment is straight. So we reverse back slowly, look around, make sure it's all clear. Any cars come towards us, we have to stop, yeah? So you reverse, car coming up front, so we wait for it to pass. Now you can already see, you can already see the car, the actual curb is actually dropping away. You see that curb line in the mirror? Mm -hmm. It's dropping away, you can see that, right? So at the moment the curb is already dropping away from us, yeah? Okay, let's just look around. Any cars coming? Are we good? Yep. yep. So we're good, yes? Mm -hmm. So now what we have to do is we have to continue reversing back, okay? So we reverse back until the car, that gap opens up. Now if you look there carefully, look now. Look at that. The curb has opened right up. Now what I'd like you to do is now I want you to lock your wheel all the way to the left. That's it. Lock it all the way to the left. Right, now what's going to happen, your nose is going to be swinging out, okay? So what you want to do is observe over your right shoulder. So observe over your right shoulder. Right, now keep an eye on the gap as you go around and watch for cars coming. There's a car coming down the road, so let's just wait for it. Okay, now we see he's gone, nothing more. Now we go back slowly, slowly, slowly. Go back, go back, go back. And we keep an eye on that, on the on that gap. Okay, we keep going till we can see there. The gap's getting small. Can you see the gap? Yeah. Right between the the side of the car there, between the side of the car and the curb, there's a small gap. Can you see the gap? Yeah. Right. 
Now what you do is you straighten your wheel. So half and one. That's it. Now your wheels are straight. Okay. Now we just look around, make sure it's all clear. And we're going to reverse back until the gap is open again. So we're going past the apex of the corner. The apex of the corner is that point over there. That's the apex of the corner. Now, because our wheels are straight, we're going straight back. Okay, so go straight back. Observe, your wheels are nice and straight. I hear a call. Yeah. Behind us, yeah? Mm -hmm. So just wait for him to go. Right, you got it? Yeah. Okay, so we go straight back. Straight back, straight back, go straight back. Now we've gone past the apex of the corner, okay? Mm -hmm. Now what you do, because that gap has opened up, now look at that gap there. Yeah. Look how open it is. You see that? Mm -hmm. Now you lock your wheel in again to the left. All right? Okay, now we're going to go back again. You've got your wheel locked to the left. Observe, observe. Check behind us as well, yeah? And you're going back and you're watching, keeping an eye on the mirror as well. And as you go around, you can see now the car is starting to get into position where the horizon between the side of the car and the curb is now small, right at yeah. the top of the mirror, yeah? Mm -hmm. So at this position, right up here, right up there, there's a small gap. Again, the horizon of the car and the curb. So the gap is small. Now, I want you to straighten up your wheel, please. Straighten up your wheel. So now you straighten up your wheel. Okay, your wheel is now straight. And now you simply reverse back up the road, nicely up the road, you just reverse back up the road and you go straight back, all right? Back there. So okay. what you would do is just maintain that gap. So as you go back, mm -hmm. just as the car goes backwards, yeah, just turn your wheel a little bit to the right, like that, okay, and then straighten up and maintain that gap. You see the gap there in yeah. the mirror, yeah? You just maintain that gap. You don't want the car ever to cross over into that, okay? Yeah. And then when you've gone far enough, mm -hmm. right? You put on the handbrake, you put on your park, and your job is done.